In this video, we will finish up the PSD mockup that we started in the previous video, creating the PSD mockup navigation. If you're following along with me, open up mockup underscore complete dot PSD, which you'll find inside of chapter two in your working files folder. With my navigation buttons already merged together and organized in a layer group, the next thing for me to do is to bring in the other elements that I want incorporated into my PSD mockup. The first thing I'll do is choose File, Place, and navigate to my ff underscore banner dot PSD file and select it. Once I have selected it, I'll choose the Place button. The image appears inside of my PSD. I can select my Move tool, which is the triangle at the top of my toolbar, and that will ask me if I want to place the object. Temporarily, I'm going to cancel this. I can move this object around, scale it. If I hold down the Shift key while I'm scaling it, it will constrain the proportions. And I can rotate it if I want to as well. After I move the graphic into the correct position I want it, I'll click the Move tool again. Photoshop will ask me if I want to finish placing the file. I'll choose to place it, which finishes the process of importing the image into my working PSD. The next thing I want to do is draw out a couple of guides. In order for guides to properly work, we need to turn on our rulers. If your rulers aren't visible, simply go to View, Rulers, Control R on a PC, or Command R on a Mac. When your rulers are visible, put your cursor anywhere inside the top ruler and click and drag. When you click and drag down, this will pull out a horizontal guide. For a vertical guide, click on the vertical ruler and drag to the right. I'll set the guide so that it lines up with the shoulder of the cat on the left corner of the banner. Now I'll drag down another horizontal guide to put some space between the banner and the navigation elements. I'll zoom in a little bit by using the shortcut Control Plus, Command Plus if you're on a Mac. And if I hold the space bar and then click and drag with my mouse, I can pan around my screen. What I want to do is move my buttons a little bit so they're lined up with this guide. So what I'm going to do is go to my text layers, select all the button layers by holding down shift and clicking, and then I'm just going to move them until I nudge them up next to that guide. That looks pretty good to me. So if I press control zero or command zero, if you're working on a Mac, I'll get a hundred percent view of my screen, which will zoom me out so I can see where I need to be while I'm working. I have some text on a layer called footer that's currently inactive. If I go over here to my layers, I can scroll down and I can see that I have this text layer called footer. It's invisible right now, or has the visibility turned off, and I can tell because the eye is not present in the checkbox. I want to turn that on just by clicking, and a little eyeball icon appears, which signifies that that layer is now visible. Notice inside of my layout, I now have some text that appears that I already had written on that layer before I turned the visibility off. I want to drag another guide layer out, a vertical guide from the left. I'm going to drag it out to the end and kind of line it up here with the little leg of this cat in the corner. And this time I'm going to bring in a photograph that I want to use in my layout. So again, I'll go to File, Place, and this time I'm going to choose the Photoshop document yellow underscore lab. I'll hit the Place button, and I'll get a little preview of this photograph. I'll move that into position next to my guides, and then again I'll hit the Move tool, and I'll select Place, which commits it to my PSD. I also have a layer that I made earlier that's still invisible. That's my heading layer. I'm going to turn the visibility on in the heading layer, and my heading will pop up. And I'm going to make sure, just double check, that it's lined up with the guide that I brought in, which it is. And for now, I'm just going to leave that where it's at. I can drag one more guide out, line it up with the H in the heading, and I think I'm going to scroll down on my layers, select my footer layer, and just nudge that up so it's even with the same guide. The footer text, heading, and photograph of the yellow Labrador won't be imported to Dreamweaver from Photoshop. We'll add those elements after we've already processed the mockup and have moved over to working in Dreamweaver and are no longer working on the PSD mockup. Building a mockup in Photoshop is a great way to create a website in conjunction with Dreamweaver and another way to visually represent a work in progress to a client. Building mockups in Photoshop is a quick and efficient way to begin creating any website.